that most of them are people that are traveling ethiopia is like a country where people transit into other countries myself i have passed through ethiopia when going to sichels passed through ethiopia when coming back to nigeria so i know that particular is a very very big airport in addis ababa i think it's bole airport bole airport addis ababa ethiopia that once you are passing through wait for accept us as one accept us as brother as sisters they go they matrix the person even they jade the person if now see what is some of our people they pass through for ethiopia airline in go hey understand so i want to make it a listing to one of our brother we want to explain what thing they really happen for that ethiopia airline even as many people they complain many people they complain say because you hold this green passport the worker it be like see you carry you in a crime you carry the worker smoke will listen to this our brother make it make it tell us what they happen for that ethiopia airline this thing they pay me we we all are one for we to protect ourselves then if you know the simple the matrix in abra for us and i want to protect them we now pay attention because i was very busy and he kept on sending and calling i had to pay attention i had to listen he said brother please help us i said what happened he said we are buying we are going we are in ethiopian prison he said it's kaliti prison maximum prison maximum security prison in ethiopia kaliti prison of this prison is filled up with more than 500 africans what is the problem that most of them are people that are traveling ethiopia is like a country where people transit into other countries myself i have passed through ethiopia when going to sichels passed through ethiopia when coming back to nigeria so i know that particular is a very very big airport in addis ababa i think it's bole airport bole airport addis ababa ethiopia that once you are passing through once you have a green passport you are like a suspect and they will keep you aside they will delay you and make you miss your flight get you angry and once you start agitating and agitating and agitating they will tell you well you need to pay five thousand dollars to get another flight again back to your country and when you don't have the money and you're agitating that they cost you to delay this flight they searched you they found nothing they delay you make you miss your flight and when you suck so much they will lead you out and say that you are a this and take you straight from that airport to the hospital they will say check you and if they can find nothing what do we do they will put you to prison from hospital to prison and while in the prison there they will come and serve you paper that you are going to serve 17 18 20 years in the prison even without going to the courts that is a very very serious issue help me to share this video at this juncture please that is a very very serious issue such that in a lot of people have spied this year i hope you know what is spy they have spied this 2023 that in april that a woman a nigerian by what happened to her that the police was her and she sustained injury internal injury in her ribs they took her to the, a hospital and injected her and of course the injection didn't go well with her body and she went back to the prison fell ill again and she said no please don't take me to the hospital don't inject me that same thing you injected me before it's not good for my body and they forced her to the hospital forced her to inject her again and the next day she gave up the ghost and they took her straight she that she was there for days before they took her to the mortuary and other inmates female inmates had to search her brought out embassy details brought out phone numbers and started calling the embassy nigerian embassy in ethiopia addis ababa ethiopia the job of embassy is to protect the interest of citizens in the country that is the primary job of embassy but from what he said in it, it was a long conversation of more than two hours but i'm summarizing it that the embassy nigerian embassy to ethiopia is always support the ethiopian government and support the ethiopian police now even when you invite the police the, the embassy the embassy representative they will come i will get back to you that nothing is done that they are supporting them and this is very very wrong that just last week here a young man gave up the ghost what happened he contacted tuberculosis and this is a picture of a young man and when i saw this picture i told you that this that this airport looks like doha airport that i think i've crossed this airport before a very big yellow dollar at the back that this looks like doha airport in middle east he said yes that this young man was passing through stopped in addis ababa heading to nigeria they stopped him made him delay his flight made him get angry exchange was shoot him to prison and he contacted tuberculosis that that prison has more than 500 africans including sick and mad ethiopians how will you put sick people and healthy people in the same room and you know tuberculosis is an airborne disease 
that this young man contacted tuberculosis and that was how he gave up the ghost just last week here this young man in the screen here that they don't feed them that their food is one spoon of rice in the morning one spoon of rice in the afternoon one spoon of rice in the night without spicy without sauce without spicy without stew nothing just white rice that's what they're eating gross malnutrition in addis ababa ethiopia no medical care if you fall sick in that prison you have to go and walk and raise money to treat yourself in that prison sometimes they will cut off the water supply for three weeks four weeks telling them that this is your punishment for being here what is really happening we need to stand up and fight this injustice in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. While we're talking of Mobad, Mobad is one individual. We're talking about over 200 people. They are there from different tribes of Nigeria, Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba, Edo, Just mentioned a lot of people. And they're in that prison that the Nigerian embassy is not helping issues. And he's calling for our help. He told me to do this video. He begged me to help him do this video, to circulate this information, that they need the help of Nigerian governments in Ethiopia. Over 250 Nigerians are in that prison no food limited water no air no ventilation no medicals nothing and they didn't do anything they didn't go to the courts a law court to be sentenced for anything that is just victimization because they have a green passport they are appealing to the nigerian government to please come to their aid they are appealing he mentioned names of governors please come to their aid the house of reps please house of senate if there is a way that this can be pushed as a motion to the green chambers and to the red chambers this is very important we are the leaders of tomorrow nigeria should not play with its citizens and this young one is appealing for me to help him do this video so help me please by sharing this video help me tag the necessary agencies that are needed to sort out this issue more than 250 nigerians are in kilati prison maximum prison in addis ababa ethiopia and they were not convicted of anything that is the point as when they are guilty of an offense we understand that people are buying every day of tuberculosis different diseases they've turned to nothing because they are nigerians and this is very 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 wrong please help me to share this video in my own capacity i'm going to tag one or two people i know that might help Ukulo Randibo, i think he will help anybody that can help to see what is really happening help me tag people I can't know everybody. You know people. Help me tag people. Help me share this video. Human rights, the law, anything possible. Let us see how we can go to Ethiopia and how we can rescue these 250 Nigerians. They are my brothers and they are your brothers. And they're from different parts of Nigeria. If you hate injustice, while you are saying justice for Mubad, Mubad is one man. Let us fight justice for people in Kiata prison. It's going to be a hashtag justice for people in Kiata prison.